This was for patients uh, age 18 to 60, newly diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, who were FLT3 positive. So they had either the ITD mutation or the TKD mutations. Uh, and they were uh, randomized to either get conventional induction with donorubicin and uh, cytarabine or the same plus uh, mitostorin, uh, an inhibitor of FLT3 and uh, several other um, uh, factors like protein kinase C. Uh, believe it or not, the patients uh, who got the metastorin actually lived longer, and it's very rare that we see an overall survival benefit uh, with therapies in acute myeloid leukemia. We're still using the 3 and 7 regimen that was developed in the early 1970s as our standard therapy, and so many other trials have not shown benefit adding extra drugs to this. But this one in a genotype targeted way uh, did show a benefit. The benefit accrued whether patients had FLT3 ITD or the TKD, so it was present for uh, both groups. Uh, many of the patients went on to transplant, so the data were analyzed both censored for transplant and then in an intention to treat analysis. And the toxicity really wasn't very different between the two arms. So uh, this really appears to be um, uh, a new way to approach FLT3-positive AML.